Yeah, we're back. Here's a little camp spot back in the Aspens. It's uh, as you can see, they're starting to change. This is a small grove of trees down here on a lower spot. It'd be a nice little tent spot on this trail. I'm sure that's where somebody had set up camp. We're down below the road here. So, don't want to be down here in the rain season, but it sure is pretty. I don't know if you can hear somebody's unloading a gun out there. Some guys are out here just testing their sights, getting them sighted in. Other people are just dropping bullets for whatever reason. It carries a long ways out here in the mountains. Take a little walk through this path here. This is a little short path. Little places to explore. Doing this one with my phone camera. See if this stabilizes any better than the iPad. No signs of cows out here, so this must be human trails. There's some pretty aspens. And they're coming. Another week or two and these things will be on fire. Fire orange and red. So pretty to see what God puts out here for us. Bible says we're in seasons. Everything that we go through is a season. Sometimes we're on a mountaintop, sometimes we're in a valley. But God says it will change. I guess that's a, one of the best things about my faith, besides being saved, is whatever season I'm in, I'll get through it because it's going to change. It gives me hope. And that's all I need. The Savior Jesus Christ is hope. Here's another campsite. This is what brought me down here. This is down below the road too. It's a pretty good trek uphill. But it's pretty. This would be a great place for to get out of the wind. Especially with a tent. As long as it's not raining too much. Well, actually, the water will go down the path where I just came from. Good place for a fire. Pitch a tent right there. Have all of God's beauty around us. And best of all, it's free. <laughs> just amazing. And people can build their rigs. To stay away from campgrounds, pay campgrounds per se. You can have a wonderful life out here. Again, with seasons changing, fall is coming and approaching, temperatures are dropping. So the first thing we do is is look where we can go down in elevation. Get away from this almost 9,000 feet of elevation and go down 2,000, 3,000 feet. All depends how late when we when we leave. But, uh, it's a simple process. Sometimes it's only a matter of a couple hundred miles. And uh, instead of having 30s and 40s at night, you could have 50s. 
in warmer days too. And that's why we're up here in elevation for the summer to cool down. So much of the country is having 90s and 100s and we've been blessed with 70s. It's just amazing to, to be so blessed to have this lifestyle and to follow the weather. True nomads. And, uh, we'll probably get snow here a couple times before we leave. We'll just get dusted four inches, six inches of snow each time. And we'll know it's time to leave. Anyway, there's a pretty pine out here in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, that Teresa's bike here, since mine's got a pop tire, had to pray over this before I left. I wouldn't pop her tire. Give her a piece. There's something I made, a little cup holder. We bought cup holders and they just fry in the sun. Fifteen, twenty dollars. There's a piece of four inch PVC and a cap. Works for me. We put our big drink cups in it. We go for miles. Sometimes building things homemade is better. But and we got a little breeze going here. Well, I tell you, the, the clean air up here and the, the smells of these leaves changing, it's, it's like having a, a candle, your favorite candle burning. It just soothes the soul. But, and these pines, during the seasons, they put out a nice aroma too. Walk back in these pine woods. But... Lots of fire earlier out here. We don't have to buy it. It's all here for us free. Find some rocks and build a fire pit. Anyway, well, we'll let you go for now. Hope you enjoyed a little video. And as always, we, we love everybody. We miss y'all. And we're going to say goodbye. Without saying one thing, we just love our Savior, Jesus Christ, and we, we thank Him for letting us do this adventure. Praise God. Y'all take care.